What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this video we are unboxing the BAM Geek Box. So yeah, what exactly is the BAM Geek Box? So this is a subscription service, it's delivered once a month. You're going to get a lot of stuff, uh, pop culture items, basically in this box. You're going to get stuff related to TV shows, movies, comic books, you know, different things like that. So if you guys are into pop culture references, this might be the box for you. Um, I've been getting Bambox for a few months now, and I've enjoyed the service so far. One of the key points to this service that's different from most is that this box will give you a celebrity autograph every single month. Um, so Bambox also has different variations of this box. Obviously, this is the Bam Geek box. You can also get a horror-themed box and also a brand new Bam Gamer box, which is something I'm really interested in uh, getting in the near future. But this box costs roughly around that $30 price point, so it's not really that expensive, especially when you count in the fact that they'll give you an autograph every single month. But yeah, so without further ado, guys, I'm guessing this is the September box. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. They put, like, number values on their boxes, and I'm not particularly sure which one this is. But I did just recently get this box. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's open up this BAM Geek box, and let's see what we got this month. Alright, so get out your trusty box cutter. Always remember to cut away from you for safety. Alright, so once again, you know, I'll try to show you guys most of the items first if that's like a feasible option. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and let's get started. Alright, so first up, feels like we have a baseball cap. So I'm going to open this up and we'll see what we got here. This is interesting. So this is our autographed item. So right off the top, I pulled out the autographed item. So basically, this is a black hat. You know, not terrible quality, not the best quality. It's a uh, fitted hat. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And if you look, it's a, a uh, it's branded from the Sandlot. You know, the uh, movie from the 1990s that pretty much everybody loved, I think. So yeah, we have our baseball cap, and we have our autograph right there on the bill of the hat. So I mean, honestly, that's pretty neat. Um, usually you get autographed 8x10s from this box, so it's kind of neat to get an autographed baseball cap from the Sandlot. So that's actually really, really neat. Um, I do not know who this autograph is, but it does come with the uh, Beckett of Authenticity, basically certifying the signature. And it's actually got a Beckett uh, thing sewed into the baseball cap there. So those will match. So yeah, I loved the Sandlot when I was a kid, so this is an awesome thing to get. And uh, at the end, when we look at the cheat sheet, we'll figure out who the autograph is. So definitely an interesting way to start. I hate getting the autograph out first, but, you know, that's just the way it worked out today. Alright, so next up, we have a black box. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and let's see what we got here. It's in plastic. So once we pull this little black box out and we open it, we have some sort of a metal inside of here. And forgive me ahead of time because no matter who you are, you will always be a bammer. I am not exactly sure what this is from. So if you guys recognize this, please let me know. Like I said, I'm sorry for being a noob, but I don't know everything, obviously. So if you guys know what this is, I mean, it's probably the prop replica, obviously, and it looks like you could actually use this as a bottle opener. But like I said, I'm not sure. And then like I said, on the back it says, no matter who you are, you will always be a bammer. So yeah, I mean, packaging is really neat. Item is kind of like whatever. I'm not exactly sure what this is. But we will find out later, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's carry on here. So next up, feels like we have our card. So yeah, wow. What is this? Kind of looks almost like a Thundercats reference or something like that. Not really sure what this is, but this is our artist card for the month. These are usually pretty cool. Um, I've gotten some Back to the Future ones that I like quite a lot. Um, so, you know, these are exclusive to the box, so that's pretty neat. 
Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Thundercats a little bit, but I could be completely wrong. All right, so next up we have our BAM scratch-off ticket. Uh, once again, I haven't never won anything from this, but it's pretty neat they put it in there. You can win free boxes or some other prizes, um, but it's fun to scratch it off every single month nonetheless. All right, so next up we have our pin, and I'll show you guys. All right, so we have, um, you know, this kind of looks like it might be Stranger Things. I could be wrong about that, but that is a uh, guess. Um, if you guys have a guess, uh, say it right now before we look at the uh, spoiler card. But yeah, if I had to guess, that's a Stranger Things pen. Um, it's just a big face, right? So we will find out at the end of the video who that is. All right, so filling around, I think we are... I, I can't really tell if we're down to the final item or not, but we'll go ahead and pull this out. This should be our uh, monthly print. Show you guys first. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, cool. We've got, actually, it's uh, Bill, Bill and Ted. Um, as you guys know, I'm sure they just released Bill and Ted 3. Um, you could see it in theaters or stream it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I watched it with my wife, and I quite enjoyed it a lot. They kept with a lot of the same tone of the first two movies, which I appreciated. I definitely liked the first movie a lot better, and probably even the second movie, but the third movie wasn't bad. Let me know if you guys watched it and what you thought about it. But yeah, this is a really neat uh, print, though. I really like this a lot. So, you know, basically Bill and Ted, it's autographed by the artist down there. So you cannot beat that. So yeah, awesome stuff. So cool. All right, so carrying right along, I think we might have, oh no, you know what? This is the spoiler card, so that was the last item in the box. So we'll set that to the side for right now. Pull out our black paper, and that is it. Nothing else in the BAM Geek Box this month. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the spoiler card and let's see what we got and see um, who some of this stuff is. So yeah, the fan art print is of uh, the Wild Stallions Return. It's been 29 years since last Bill, Bill and Ted, so it was kind of neat to see the third movie come out. Uh, the fan art print, we've been waiting for New Mutants. So I was wrong, it's not Stranger Things. This is actually a New Mutants pin. So yeah, um, it's basically, you know, talking about the darker side of the X-Men universe. I haven't seen the New Mutants movie yet, but I definitely want to see it. Let me know if you guys watched it and how it was. Um, the celebrity autograph is the Sandlot hat. Uh, hurry up, Benny. My clothes are going out of style. We are excited to bring you a signed cap from Squints himself. Uh, Chauncey Leopardy. This item is sure to delight any fan of the Sandlot. So yeah, the uh, hat was autographed from, uh, by Squints from the Sandlot. The uh, prop le replica movie. We're huge fans of sci-fi series Altered Carbon on Netflix. So that's why I didn't know what the uh, movie prop was, because I have never watched Altered Carbon. It is kind of on the short list, uh, list of stuff to watch, though, because I have heard really good things about the show. Um, the Artist Select card is part two of this Wonder Woman card set. So yeah, I was wrong. That is definitely not Thundercats. Um, Jason Miller brought us the Nefarious Cheetah. Pair her against Wonder Woman for a true... Amazonian duel. So yeah, basically the uh, the uh, card will complete the set from the Wonder Woman card from the uh, last box. So yeah, pretty neat stuff. You guys can kind of look at the bottom there and see what some of the leveled up stuff was. If you guys want to read that, you can pause it. Alright, so yeah, that is it for the spoiler card. Let's go ahead and let's do some price and recap and let's see how we did in this box. Um, so right off the start, we have our uh, pen from the New Mutants. We'll go ahead and give this $5. Bill and Ted uh, print. Let's go ahead and give this $6. So that takes us up to 11 The card gets $2. So that'll be 13 
the uh, prop rec replica. I really don't know what to give this. Let's give it six dollars. That'll take us up to nineteen dollars. And last but not least, the uh, signed cap. We'll go ahead and give this twenty-five dollars. So what what does that take us up to? That's basically like what forty-four bucks. My math might be a couple dollars off, but let's just say forty dollars for the heck of it. We pay thirty dollars for the box, so we get ten dollars in extra value. So that's always a positive. The other way I like to rate these boxes is do I like the items that I received this month? Um, I love the Bill and Ted print. Really like the autograph hat. Um, the other stuff is like, eh, you know, so this is a 50-50 for me. So to be completely honest with you guys, I'd probably give this box a B minus, C plus, somewhere around that range. But the key is we did get our extra value and we did a, uh, did, we did get a cool autographed hat out of it. So at least there's that. But let me know what you guys thought down below, what you guys uh, thought of this box. Did you think that we got our value? Do you think this stuff was worth about $30? What was your favorite item in the box? I would love to hear y'all's opinions. And guys, I think I'm going to probably end the video. But first, I want to say thank you so very much for watching this episode of GBA. If you haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would help me out tremendously. If you guys know anybody who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But guys, until next time, I think I'm going to go open up some boxes, maybe play some video games, try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.